built by Reverend Dobbin. His family had 19 children, 10 from his first wife, and his second wife had nine children from her first marriage. So together they were the Brady Bunch. <laughs> Built in 1776, the Dobbin House is the oldest building in Gettysburg. Specials for the day. <laughs> Cocktails. Fish. And desserts. Fresh bread and rolls with blueberry muffins and an ice cream size of butter. Wonderful. The famous Dobbin House French onion soup. Absolutely delicious. Very rich, flavorful, tons of cheese. I'm good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Yummy. My mom says the crab cake, which is made fresh here, is filled with hunks of crab. Brian got one with his dinner, so we'll find out. Delicious. With all dinners comes a house salad. My mom and I got the herbed vinaigrette. That's okay that comes in these beautiful pewter serving dishes. My father and I got the duck with apple and sweet potato. My mother got the pork with raspberry sauce. And Ryan got the prime rib with crab cake. I've never come to a restaurant. Not only do we get to be inside of this amazingly historic house, which we are going to tour after dinner, but we're eating by authentic, true candlelight. And I've never seen a half a roasted duckling on the menu before, so I had to, of course, get it. And it is prepared with a really delicious, flavorful apple cider and apple chutney. It is on the bone, piping hot, completely unique, unlike any duck dish that I've ever had. Absolutely delicious. Ryan, let me have a piece of this prime rib. That is a close second. Amazing prime rib. But again, I can get prime rib. This, I couldn't get anywhere else. So, so yummy. The salad, the soup, the duck, everything is delicious. A true colonial dessert, gingerbread with lemon sauce. All right, let's give it a try. It is very hot. It's the lemon sauce at time. Hot, hot, hot. <laughs> It's very dense, very spicy, Ryan doesn't like it. Very different, but very tasty. We ate inside of the library. This is the parlor. Thank you. Thank you. And this is the front sitting room. No, Judy, this way. The whole restaurant is complete the way that the house was. 
The upstairs was four bedrooms and it has been opened up. You can actually eat in what looks like a bed. Sewing room. A little bit. <laughs> Exploring. So cool. Nope. Oh, and that's as far as it goes. Up the stairs is a slave hideout and museum. So this is part of the Underground Railroad. This would have been a pullout where the slaves would have hidden. <laughs> and another room. Hi. I know, I moved it. Oh, this is where we just were. Okay. That's super fun. <laughs> and then down the stairs. Was featured in National Geographic. The downstairs area is known as the Spring House Tavern. Slightly similar menu, but not completely. The original spring, which is why I wanted to come down here, the first thought of the pioneer in building a home was the availability of adequate water supply. Like other settlers, the Dobbin family built the house over a spring for convenience and in order to be assured of water in the event of an Indian attack. Mrs. Dobbin used the stairway to the spring often. Besides providing cool, clear water, it served as a refrigerated area. And here is still the original spring. <clears throat> and the Spring House Tavern. Just finished our meal at the Dobbin House. Absolutely delicious. Highly, highly recommend it. Definitely make reservations and come hungry.